Hello and welcome back to Linux Game Until I Die. This is episode 40 of my playthrough of Legend of Dragoon. In the previous episode, we were in the city of Mayfill, the Wingly City of Death, where we managed to defeat the Divine Dragon Spirit, granting it rest and getting a really quite pathetic item out of it. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be continuing on with the actual story. Although, looking at the amount of money I have, I may save up another 500 gold and then go buy a uh, legendary cask or armor of legend, which are two of the most powerful armor pieces in the game. And each one of them costs 10,000 gold. So if we can get a little bit more money, possibly two or three more fights worth, we should be able to go back to Lohan and uh, buy one. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. If we only get like 30 gold after defeating all these, then I'm just going to call it quits. I'm just going to go on with the story and give up on the legendary cask or armor. Rose and Albert. Ha! <laughs> taking a lot of damage. That one really doesn't like Rose. I'm going to use my magic secret stone on the last zombie. And uh, I'll give Rose and Albert some time to heal. I'm just going to use a speed down on the zombie so that it uh, takes longer for it to free up movement. I think I'll use a speed up on Albert so that he can heal quicker. Not the most exciting start to this video, but uh, I was not doing well after the battle with the Divine Dragon. Only just managed to beat it. Okay, I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. Let's go kill this guy. How much gold do I get? 100 gold. So we should be able to get another 10,000 gold items in another four battles. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to replace Rose with Miranda and Albert with Mary. I'm going to remove the bandit's ring from Albert.
Let's see, can I shell equip this? I've probably checked this before. Oh, you can. Yep, I think we'll go with that. Oh wait, I don't have our shell out in my party. So, no point doing that. Meru, let's try Meru. Pretty sure she can't, but... Yeah. And a veranda. No. But Miranda's got a physical ring, which is probably the best item for her to have in a moment. She doesn't have an awful lot of health. And it looks like she's already got the most powerful weapon equipped. And the most powerful armor. And the best shoes and helmet. So, let's double check what meru has got. Stun guard, yeah, we'll, we'll place that. Let's make sure she's got all the best equipment as well. I'm not sure whether I should stick with the dancing shoes. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the dancing shoes. It gives a 20 speed bonus. Whereas the soft boots only give a 5 defense bonus. Now I'm going to unequip Hashel's Giganto ring and equip it with Meru. Oh, I'll equip Meru with it. So she doesn't do an awful lot of damage as it is. This should help. Too badly there, considering I've not used that in ages. I'm not sure if I have a light arrow. Which I might equip Meru with, not Meru, Miranda with. I'm going to transform into Dragoon just to get rid of the status effect. to kill. Unfortunately, its desires do not come into the equation. Oh, maybe they do. Everything counter. Mm. Only sixty nine goals from that fight. 
Still, another free battle should see me through. I'm just going to uh, check to see if I have a light arrow. A light arrow would do a lot more damage against these monsters than a arrow of force. Well, at least I thought it would, but considering how pathetically powerful that is, it's only got 9 attack. So I think I'm probably better off sticking with the arrow of force, to be honest. That's a shame. Well, wish I had more of those. Maybe still another three battles. We shall see. Between two and three more battles before we can get a legendary cask. Getting more like free. All I'm getting is these guys. This thing is annoying. to uh, heal. Ah, boss too quick. Start heading back towards the uh, exit of this place. We teleported to Xenobatos. I do hope there's a way of getting that treasure chest.
two of these bloody things. Okay, Miranda is not in a good place right now. This is the first time I've transformed this, huh? Looks like she's falling over. I'm not quite sure if this attack will hook when we can uh, get to the moon that never sets. Hey, Miranda got to level up. Mary, suck it up. Should have enough money now, hopefully. No, come on, eleven gold away. One last fight then. Maybe it's back to disc 2? Possibly disc 1? 
Luhan. Run is nearly dead again. Then he's going to transform into Gragu and lose her healing magic. Interesting that Meru's healing ability is more powerful than the healing dragoons. The light dragoon is basically redundant by the point you get Meru. Or at least Meru's dragoon spirit. There we go. 10,000 gold. No, I shouldn't spend it all in one place, but I'm gonna. This is warp to Xenovatos. Yes, Kulon, I would love to have wings. I would ride you like a surfboard. Okay. Commercial city of Lohan. All the way back to our humble beginnings. More or less. change desks here. So, please bear with me a second. There we go. We are now in Lohan. This is where we got Kongol's Dragoon Spirit. It's also where we went to the fair and played a lot of minigames and sucked at them. And it's also the place where you can buy the most powerful armor in the game. Look at him while I buy stuff. A legendary cask. Increases magic defense a ridiculous amount. Now, 
There is also a physical defense item as well. Buy this for Congo. Although Albert's magic defense is even worse than Congo somehow. So maybe Albert will wear this. No, we need to buy some more healing breezes. But we don't have any money. In hindsight, I should have. Probably bought uh, won a few more battles before coming here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the sachet. Never use that. All right. Let's go find the item shop. Possibly this one. Yes, I do want to buy something. And very much like to buy some healing breezes, except you do not sell them, so I cannot. Okay. We went too far back in the game to buy healing breezes. But what we can do is go heal up. There should be an inn here. Twenty gold. We're not going to get a better offer. Okay. Now, if we had enough money, we could go buy tickets at the fairground, which we can exchange for healing rains. But uh, we do not have enough money for that. At least I sincerely doubt that we do. I'm not going to go check. Instead, we're going to fly back to uh, Xenobatos and use the item shop there. This means I'm going to need to change the disc again, but uh, it's not a problem. Bear with me a second. I'm getting good at that. Cheers, Coolin. So, healing breezes are 50 gold. And we've got five of them. Buy a couple more angel prayers. And I think that will do.
I got confused about where I was going then. Okay, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally going to proceed with the story. Thank you for bearing with me through all this. I know it's not been the most exciting thing to watch. any further, I'm going to replace Miranda with Rose and Mary with Albert. I'm going to unequip Meru's Gigantore and Don't we have the bandit ring? Well, I'm going to equip Albert with the bandit ring. I can find it. Ah, and if my controller will stop jumping to the right or left. That wasn't there. And I'm going to equip Rose with the Giganto Ring. I think I'll do. Okay. Onwards. Bravery amulet. That's what I always wanted. I need to keep an eye on which one of these is safe to walk on. I don't think that one is. That nah. possibly it is. Somehow falling down makes you go sideways. I'm not doing very well with my additions. Didn't make any difference, still beat it. But it's not, uh, not what I want to do. It's 
So that will work. That will work. So I need to go on the ones that are red. Oh. Although it hit it, it didn't turn red. So yeah, that was my fault. Third time's a charm. Well, I guess I have to go that way. Magic Eco Ball. Ooh, those rock fireflies. Or is it another big boss? I'm not entirely sure who sold that was. Yeah, that's definitely a healing light. So it turns out you can heal in the Death City. I was hoping I could kill it off before I got a move. No, oh, well, all I did was stun him. Die. Balls. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that counter attack. Well, at least that's that woken up again. I'm really not good at her addition. And I don't know why. It's like using Miranda for a few fights, it's completely prevented my ability to do additions and useless. I for crying out loud. I just got no sense of when to press the buttons anymore. Well, I hope that uh, passes quickly because I'm pretty sure there's another big boss fight coming soon. And this one isn't optional. Ooh, I've got another dragon level up, I think. Which 
sure if that's the only thing in the middle of that room. Good this time. Demons dance. Yes. Process of elimination, I'll do that one. I was following a red herring there. Right, there, there, there. Sorely tempted to just run away from these things. Never buddy hit them. as we get to the healing point again. And everybody's slowly getting their SP meters filled back up. 
which will come in handy in the coming battle. I hope. This didn't happen last time. So the souls of the uh, people that the black monster killed cannot forgive her. Which isn't surprising really. Right. So we're going to have to go this way. Come on. I'm pretty sure this is the only way I can go, but it's nice to get confirmation. Alright. So there. 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 I'm not there. Is it that end? Yes, yes it is. Damn it. This is another episode that I'm going to have to put in the description to skip. At least the second half of it. There, 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 there. There, there. Come on. All right. Up. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure the signet sphere is destroyed. Jesus. 
so much for progressing the story. <sighs> and I wasn't prepared for that. I have no idea why the developers decided to put this stupid puzzle in this. There's really no need to be padding out the time like this. I've only another 97 battles before I buy another legendary cask. So unpredictable. What? Again? I think I know by now where the bloody step is. Da 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 da. One more up? No. Nope. There better be a save point after this. <laughs> if it'd be better if I just switch back to one of her older editions. I'm not going to be able to do any damage doing any boss fights with her if I can't attack. I'm sure I'll get used to the timing eventually, but eventually isn't good enough. Mind purifier. I don't think I can carry that. Oh, no, apparently I can. Maybe the spirit was Doubt's mum. Ah, tricked me four times. Shame on you. That must be. Yeah. again, but I can go down, and then I can go right, or left even. Okay, this is looking good. Mm 
Well, that was more effort than it was worth. Let's never go to that room ever again. Thank god there's a save point. Probably not. Oh shit, he's transformed into something. Some sort of zombie creature. Let's go back and get that item. Save the game. Do a battle. And in the next episode we will fight zombie lavits. Because I don't think we're gonna get past them without fighting them. one attack with her now. I mean, it's this damn thing, it's a pain when you miss. Well, let's get a bit of some items then. But we don't need three mind purifiers, and I'm sure I'm going to regret saying that at some point. Healing rain! I'll take that any day. Let's see the game. Well, today has been an adventure. We bought a legendary cask, had a lot of fights, and met up with Lavitz. And found out he's been turned into a zombie creature. In the next episode, we will fight that zombie creature. And hopefully, free Lavitz from its control. Until then, Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that this episode has been very repetitive. Um, hopefully the next episode is a bit more exciting. Until then, bye for now.